my last farewell. Farewell, my adored land, region of the sun caressed, pearl of the Orient Sea, our Eden lost. With gladness I give you my life, sad and repressed, and were it more brilliant, more fresh and at its best, I would still give it to you for your welfare at most. On the fields of battle, in the fury of fight, others give you their lives without pain or hesitancy. The place does not matter. Cypress, laurel, lily white, scaffold, often filled, conflict, or martyrdom's sight. It is the same if asked by the home and country. I die as I see, tints on the sky begin to show. And at last announce the day after a gloomy night. If you need a you to die your matutinal glow, pour my blood and at the right moment spread it so. And gild it with a reflection of your nascent light. My dreams when scarcely a lad adolescent. My dreams when already a youth full of vigor to attain. Where to see you, gem of the sea of the Orient. Your dark eyes dry, smooth brow held to a high plane, without frown, without wrinkles, and of shame without sting. My life's fancy, my ardent, passionate desire. Hail! Cries out the soul to you, that will soon part from thee. Hail! How sweet it is to fall, the, the fullness you may acquire. To die to give your life beneath your skies to expire, and in the time mystic plan to sleep through eternity. If over my tomb someday you would see blow a simple, humble flower and mystic grasses, bring it up to your lips and kiss my soul so, and under the cold tomb I may feel on my brow, warmth of your breath. A whiff of Thai tenderness. Let the moon with soft, gentle lightning describe. Let the dawn send forth its fleet. Brilliant light in murmurs grave allow the wind to sigh. And should the bird descend on my cross and the light. Let the bird intone a song of peace over my sight. Let the burning sun the raindrops vaporize, and with my clamor behind return pure to the sky. Let a friend shed tears over my early demise, and on quiet afternoons when one prays for me on high. Pray too, O oh, my motherland, that in God may rest I. Pray tea for all the helpless who have died, for all those who have equal torments, have undergone for our poor mothers who in bitterness have cried for orphans widows and captives to tortures were sheet and pray to that you may see your own redemption and when the dark night wraps in the cemetery and only the dead to vigil they are left alone don't disturb their repose Disturb not the mystery. If thou hear the sounds of cittern or psaltery, it is I, dear country, who a song to you intone. And when my grave by all is no more remembered, with neither cross nor stone to mark its place, let it be plowed by man, with spade let it be scattered. And my ashes ear to nothingness are restored. Let them turn to dust to cover, tie or dissipate. Then it doesn't matter that you should forget me. Your atmosphere, your skies, your veils are sweet. Vibrant and clear note to your ears I shall be. Aroma, light, use, murmur, song, moaning stick. Constantly repeating the essence of the faith I keep. My idolized country, for whom I most gravely pine. 
Dear Philippines, to my last goodbye, oh hearken, there I leave all, my parents, loves of mine, I'll go where there are no slaves, titrans, or hangmen, where fate does not kill, and where God alone does reign. Farewell, parents, brothers, beloved by me, friends of my childhood, in the home distress. You'd think that now I rest from the wearisome day. Pharaoh, sweet stranger, my friend, who brightened my way. Farewell to all I love, to die is to rest, my last farewell.